So now let's see the shadow and reflection options inside of Adobe Captivate. So over here you can see that I have a text and an image. So you can apply this to basically all the objects that are in Adobe Captivate. So let's see around how it works with the text. So I have this text right over here. And once you select the text and go to the properties panel, on the bottom hand side, you see this option called shadow and reflection. So what you can do is you can select out different options right over here. So right now it's set to uh, none right over here, the reflection that is. And if I were to click on this, you can see that immediately you start seeing a reflection of the text right over here. You see this one, so it has a bit more of a reflection, different type of reflection, just like that, as you can see right over here. So you can select different types of reflection for this. You can do the same for the image, as you can see right over here. And as you move the image, the reflection moves along with it. There's also different options right over here, as you can see. So let's apply it onto the image right over here, just like that. There's shadows, as you can see. So reflection, we chose it. There's the shadow option right here as well, which is right now set to none. So you can set an inner shadow right over here. Once you set inner shadow, you can see that there's different shadow options, like uh, it, it appears from top corner right over here or the bottom corner from right over here. So let me select the top corner. And if I were to increase the blurriness, you can see that the shadow covers up the image right over here, just like this. You can also change the opacity of the shadow. So you can make it really dark or you can make it very, very subtle as you can see right over here. You can also change the distance as you can see. So you can change the distance from where the shadow actually appears. If you were to set it to zero pixels, then it goes around all the corners. You can also go over here on to the color. So you can change the color of the shadow as you can see, you can increase the distance and you can change the angle of the shadow as well, as you can see, just like that. So if I were to go for blue shadow, it goes much more along with the picture, just like that. So just decrease out the distance and increase out the opacity right over here, increase up the blur pixels and so forth, just like that. So this is one of the options that you can work with. The other option you have is the outer shadow. So in this case, the shadow is outside, as you can see, as if the picture is floating around. So you can choose the color, same thing for that as well. You can change the color. You can change the angle and the distance right over here, as you can see. And when you change the distance, you notice that the distance for the reflection changes as well. So just like that, you can control the opacity, the blur level over here for the shadows as well. And of course, the angle. So that is how you can work around with the reflection, the shadows and everything else uh, inside of Adobe Captivate. So same goes for the text as well and the other objects that you might apply over here. So you can add in the shadow over here as well. So I'm going to add an outer shadow just like that. And you can see that the shadows is there. Shuttle shadows are there just like that. And you can work around with the colors and everything else from the bottom part. You can blur out, out right over here increase the distance right over here, just like that. And there you go, those are the shadows. Change the color and the shadow colors changes. And these are the effect options that you have in Adobe Captivate and you can make your graphics look much more interesting rather than uh, having a plain graphics just like that. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.